Linux Mint, a perfect Linux distro for beginners. In this video, we will dual boot Linux Mint alongside Windows 11. Let's start the video after this intro. Preview. Let me show you the current specification of my windows. Guys make sure before you dual boot, you should strongly consider backing off all your important data. So guys as you can see, I am using windows 11 home, version is 21 h 2 and the update is 2.10.2022. Let's talk about the prerequisite in installing Linux Mint in your system. First is you need a pen drive with minimum 4GB in size, another one is Linux Mint IOS file. Another is Rufus. Rufus is used to make a bootable pen drive. And guys, uh, the f important thing is you must have at least 30 GB free space in your HDD or SSD. As you can see, uh, I have 62 GB unallocated data space, and I'm gonna install Linux Mint in this unallocated 62 GB space. Now, uh, here is here are the two files, Rufus, and another one is Linux Mint IOSO file. First of all, you need to install Rufus and make sure it is run as administrator. And guys here you need to select your pen drive and uh, I have 16 GB pen drive let me show you as you can see here is my USB pen drive and now in Rufus click on select and here select your Linux Mint ISO file and click on open and guys don't do anything here just click start and click OK guys it will it may take uh, five to six minutes so be patient i'm gonna fast forward the video until the pen drive become bootable Now we have successfully created Linux Mint USB. As you can see, the process is successfully completed. Uh, let me show you. So guys, here as you can see, pen drive is now become bootable. Now it's time to shut down the computer and boot your computer into the boot manager. Guys, let me tell you one thing. Uh, six or eight year back the uefi secure boot was not well supported by linux but thankfully linux mint and other ma many linux distribution supported secure boot as well so we we don't need to disable secure boot now uh, my system is shutting down so wait now uh, after power on your computer boot your computer into the boot manager by pressing f12 in my i'm using lenovo so in my case it f12 now I'm gonna boot my device using Linux Mint USB and as you can see here I'm gonna hit enter and it will boot my computer in Linux Mint. First boot might take quite a while so wait. System is now boots up. Let's start the installation procedure. First, few steps are simple. You choose language and keyboard layout. Keep pressing continue. In the installation type, select something else and click on continue. It will take you to the partitioning screen. Remember, you had created some free space before it. So, we are gonna create a uh, root file and swap file and fat32 file, which is uh, boot file in, in that free partition. So uh, as you can see here are my partitions, uh, let me show you my free space. Guys first of all you need to select your SSD or where you want to install your Linux Mint or where you, we, you have created free space. So guys as you can see here is my free space, uh, I have created this earlier. So let me open it in Gparted. 
in gparted select your ssd or hdd and here as you can see this is my free space now it's time to create the root partition for the linux mint and guys uh, for linux mint 56 gb is sufficient but i am gonna allocate 60 gb let me type 60,000 MB and guys make sure uh, use as this ext4 and mount point is root slash slash and click on ok and it will allocate 60 GB to this root partition now it's time to create swap partition swap partition is act as a virtual RAM uh, guys if you have 4 GB of RAM then you need to create 8 GB or you can create 4 GB I have 8 GB of RAM I am gonna allocate 4 GB to make a swappable memory and select this as swap area now click on ok so both the partition are now created first is root partition and another is swap partition you also need to create another partition which is boot slash EFI partition uh, the size of this partition is about 500 or 600 MB and uh, the type of this uh, partition is FAT32 uh, let me sh share an image with you and uh, guys you need to create this partition too now let me show you my partition so guys as you can see uh, here is my FAT32 partition so I am not gonna create this partition again now you need to select this partition here device for bootloader installation and here i am gonna select p4 as you can see fat to partition is p4 now it's time to install linux mint so i am gonna click on install now well you have almost won the battle you can smell victory now select a time zone when asked and next you will be asked to enter username hostname and password now it's just matter of waiting it should take 8 to 10 minutes to complete the installation so be patient i'm gonna fast forward the video Installation is now completed. Now click on reboot system. Uh, you will be asked to remove the USB and you can remove the disk at this stage without worrying uh, the system reboot after this. And after removing the pen drive, just hit and enter. And guys, keep pressing F2 or uh, your BIOS key. In my case, it's F2. Now go to boot. And guys make sure this ubuntu must at the top and if this is not on the top then you can press f6 to move this on the top and press f10 to save the changes and hit enter and guys it will boot the system into the linux mint bootloader so guys as you can see here linux mint windows and pop os guys i am using these three operating systems so first of all i am gonna boot in linux mint Guys, first boot might take quite a while, but don't worry, it's normal. So, as you can see, my system is now successfully boots into Linux Mint. And everything is working fine, but I am gonna shut down the reboot the system and boot my system into the Windows. Now this time uh, select windows and hit enter. So 
so as you can see my system is successfully boots up into windows 11 so by this way you can dual boot your linux mint alongside windows 11 guys hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching tech jarvis